In this video, you will learn how to solve different math problems to prepare for the SVAB or CFAT exam. Blair's average or arithmetic mean on two physics tests is 7. What should Blair's score be on the next test to have an overall average of 8 for all the tests? When we say arithmetic mean or average, um, this is equivalent to the sum of the terms divided by the number of terms. We are asked here to find um, the third score of Blair that would give us an average equal to 8. But it is given here that the average of the two previous tests is 7, which means that the scores of those two tests are also equal to 7. We can even check it. So average of the two scores would be 7 plus 7 divided by 2. This is 14 over 2. So that's the average of the two physics tests. Now, how to solve for uh, the third score that would give us an average of 8. So we just have to plug in um, the value of the average or arithmetic mean, which is 8, equals 7 plus 7. These are the, the scores of the previous test, plus we let x x we let x be the third score or the score of the third test or the next test then divided by the number of terms so we have three terms here all right then we multiply both sides by three then we have eight times three equals seven plus seven plus x this cancels out we have 24 equals 14 plus x then we subtract 14 from both sides therefore the value of x is just equal to 24 minus 14 which is equal to 10. so the answer here is 10. So that would be a Blair score on the next test that would give us um, an average, give her an average um, of 8 for all of the test. Solve for um, the value of W from the expression or equation 4W plus 8 equals 6W minus 4. So we can solve this algebraically. So this is 4w plus 8 equals 6w minus 4. Then we subtract um, 8 from both sides to eliminate 8 on the left. Then we are left with 4w equals 6w. Negative 4 minus 8 is negative 12. Then we subtract. 6w from both sides okay, to eliminate 6w on the right then we have 4w minus 6w equals negative 12 and 4 minus 6 is just equal to negative 2w equals negative 12 then we divide both sides by negative 2 right so this would give us an answer of positive 6. Because negative 12 divided by negative 2 is positive 6. So the answer is this one. Choose the answer to the following problem. 10 to the 7th divided by 10 to the 4th. So by using the law of exponents, when the two terms have the same basis, 
in this case uh, our base is 10 then we just have to uh, in division uh, we just have to subtract the exponents so we just leave um, the base b or as it is so this would be 10 uh, to the seventh minus four and seven minus four is three so this would give us an answer that is equal to 10 cubed so the answer here is this one If two angles in a triangle measure 35 degrees and 47 degrees, what is the value of the third angle? So the measure of the sum of the measure of the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So we just have to subtract it from 180, the sum of 35 and 47. So let's say this is our triangle, and this is 35 degrees, this is 45, no, 47. Then we don't know this angle, so let's say this is x degrees. So x degrees plus 35 plus 47 is just equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, x degrees is just equal to 180 minus 35 minus 47 and this would give us an answer of 98 degrees so this is the answer here Simplify 7y squared plus 3xy minus 9 minus 2y squared plus 3xy minus 5. So how are we going to simplify this? All we have to do is we group like terms. So in this case, we have the minus sign here, or negative. We need to distribute this to um, this expression, uh, each to each of the terms in this expression here so let's rewrite this we have 7y squared plus 3xy minus 9 minus um, 2y squared plus 3xy minus 5 then okay we copy 7y squared plus 3xy minus 9 then we distribute a negative sign here to each of the terms inside this expression uh, this expression inside the parenthesis so that would become um, minus 2y squared minus 3xy negative times negative 5 is positive 5 so it will be plus 5 then okay we get rid of the parentheses and we have 7y squared plus 3xy minus 9 minus 2y squared minus 3xy plus 5 and now we can group like terms so 7y squared goes with negative 2y squared then we can group them together that is 7y squared minus 2y squared and then the 3xy and 3xy positive 3xy negative 3xy that is 0 and then we have negative 9 plus 5 so this would give us an answer that is equivalent to 5y squared minus four so the answer is this one four x plus two times x plus one 
So these are two binomials that we're going to multiply. We can use um, the FOIL method if you're familiar with it. So we multiply the first uh, term, second, uh, middle, and last. All right, so let's do that. 4x plus 2 times x plus 1. Then we multiply 4x times x first. Then 2x times x. Copy the operator sign. Plus 2 times x. Then 4x times 1 plus 4x times 1. Then plus 2 times 1. All right, and then we simplify. 4x times x is just 4x squared plus 2x plus 4x plus 2. And then we group like terms. Only um, 2x and 4x are alike. Then we can add them up. So this is 4x squared plus 6x plus 2. So the answer is this one.